what comes out when everything is gone. When everything is gone, everything you've known, everyone you've loved, the way you have survived and lived for years in the past is gone. Everything you knew is irrelevant. So what type of emotion, what type of humanity will surface? That's what this is about. Hi everyone, this is Paul Loves to Read and as you know in this channel, it's all about spreading the love and joy for literature. And today I'm going to share with you a book by one of my um, uh, loved <laughs> authors. It's Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. This was published in 2014. I believe this was her first book, I'm not sure, but this was her first international bestseller. And this cover is actually from the HBO TV series. Yep, it has a, it has a TV series now in HBO of the same title, Station Eleven. The, the first that I have read of her book was The Glass Hotel. And The Glass Hotel was one of my top best books of 2020, if I'm not mistaken. Also fiction. And I love just, you know, I love the way she writes. I love how she builds characters. And I love how everything ties together in the end. Um, so, this Station Eleven has been a bestseller book, and you know everybody has read it, and now has a TV series. So when I saw it in the bookstore, okay, sige, maybe it's time to read it. Yeah, it's good. It's a good book. I enjoyed it. Um, admittedly, I like the other one better, The Glass Hotel. I thought The Glass Hotel was more subtle. This one, kasi, is very. It's more of a traditional traditional storytelling narrative, um, because it follows the story of this central character. It's easy to follow um, and there's a lot of events happening to her, around her and and a lot of you know challenges and all of that. The genre is dystopian, um, sci-fi dystopian and it's about, so mind you this was published in 2014, okay. So it's about a virus that wipes out 90% of the population on earth and the remaining 10% or maybe less um, started to move on with their lives, right? And there will be different groups, different characters, different people, but there's very, very few um, survivors from that virus that wiped out the population. And it's a dystopian future because obviously 90% of the population is gone, so nobody will operate earth nobody will nobody will operate the planet meaning to say no more electricity no more telecommunications no more internet basically it's really back to basics and the story is centered or told from not the per not a first person perspective but the center of the story the protagonist is this girl who who when the virus happened she was only about nine or ten years old and then essentially she grew up in the world where everything was wiped out um, so meron siyang ano she has very very little memory of the world that was and she grew up into this new dystopian future and it's great because it has a mix of characters there are characters in the story who have never known the world that was they have never known they were born essentially they were born into this into this dystopian world. So they don't know what electricity is, they don't know what cell phones is, they don't know what communications was. On the other hand, there are older people who remember everything, who 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 lived the you know the 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 world that was. So they remember electricity, they remember engineering, they remember airplanes and all of that. So there is that mix, right? So the older generations are always looking back to the past and trying to emulate, okay, how do we then move forward with this knowledge? And then at the same time, the, the newer or younger generation would develop their own set of innovations, would develop their own set of ideas with the world that they currently know. So it's a good mix, actually. It's a good, it's a good mix with the, with the drama uh, storyline. It's really a story of survival, of tenacity, of resilience, of perseverance, and humanity. I think that's it. There's different shades and angles of humanity that will appear in the story and the one that will prevail is is the ending 
yeah, I'm not going to say which one, but that's essentially the story. So it has so many layers, just like her other book that I love, The Glass Hotel. It has so many layers to the characters. Nothing too sensational, actually. Nothing too action-packed. It's not about that. The story is really about emotions. It's really about humanity, like very internal. Okay, It's a very inward book. There are events happening, but it's always, the author will always bring you back in, like thinking about it. What do you do? What, what will our protagonist do? And more often than not, she will surprise you. I wasn't totally surprised about the, the human conflicts wherein parang almost cultish yung iba. You know, you, you, as human beings, I think we need that. We need faith. We need religion. So in this post-virus world, there is no Christianity anymore. The, the, all the religions that we used to know is gone. So new religions will pop up. New faith will pop up. New saviors will pop up. So it's, that was an interesting angle to me as well. I would recommend this book to those who enjoy dystopian sci-fi genre um, and about stories where, about survival stories na may dystopian angle. Um, it's enjoyable in that context and this is where you will um, find stories about human nature. Like what happens? What, what pops up? What comes out when everything is gone? When everything is gone, everything you've known, everyone you've loved, the way you have survived and lived for years in the past is gone. Everything you knew is irrelevant. So what type of emotion, what type of humanity will surface? That's what this is about. Um, and admittedly, when I read this, I read this post-COVID, diba? I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know that this is about a dystopian story. And I didn't know that this was about a virus that kills 90% of the population. Granted, COVID is not like that. And thankfully, it's not like that. But, you know, I kind of have had that in my head when I was reading this. Now, and she wrote this, published this in 2014. So, you know, COVID was not existing at the time. So I had that in my mind when I was reading it. Now, okay, I wonder, you know, you can't help but wonder. Like, what if? How would you survive? It's really a story of survival. And again, it's fiction. So overall, it's a good book. I'm not surprised it's a bestseller. I'm not surprised it's now an HBO TV series. I haven't seen the TV series, so I don't know how loyal they are to the book. I can't compare it. Um, but the book the book is good. For those who enjoy this type of genre, I think you will, you will like this. So there you have it. Thank you.